Hello, welcome back to Zomboid. Check out what I've been up to. I decided to spend the day cutting down trees and using up all our nails. If you recall, in the previous episode, and maybe the one before that, I happened upon two boxes of nails, which is 100 nails per box. I have now used all of our nails. I built a little over half of the perimeter wall and boarded it up. Um, this is, this is kind of cool. Happy with this. I've got a bunch of planks just laying here, 27 of them, keeping these branches nearby. Uh, I will probably, uh, whenever I get more nails, I'll probably move the building inside over a little bit because I don't like where it is. So, yeah, um, he's tired already. It's noon. Um, he woke up at 7, but we've been doing hard labor all day. <laughs> He's been cutting down trees and moving real heavy stuff all morning. He's not happy. I just filled him up on water. Yeah, and I have uh, four fish ready to go. I was thinking uh, maybe we would focus on securing our little perimeter. I know we don't really get zombies here, but... Maybe it would be wise to secure it uh, rather than waiting so long like in uh, <laughs> Sophia's video when we raided, waited forever to block that entrance off. That was perhaps a little a little too long. You know, I had an idea to deal with these woods. Every time I come through here, there are zombies, and I wonder if maybe I should just walk through here shouting. Maybe that would solve my issues, but seriously, every time I come through here, there's zombies everywhere. I don't know what's up with that. I'd love to know why there's so many and I always like so perfectly evenly spread out. Look, they've I've been killing them so much. There's skeletal zombies in here. And there's always just like one or two hanging out. When I get a little bit further north, there's usually like the group. Um, but so the last episode we finished clearing the construction site. Finally. Finally feels like we are accomplishing something on our boy Lester here. Lester also became lucky Lester as we found a sledgehammer. I'm going north here because I spotted a zombie in the trees. I'm going to kill him. So we have a sledgehammer. I do not have said sledgehammer with me. Um, I will be using that sledgehammer on uh, the gun store, which is a little ways over... I don't want to fight too many because he's already got the tired moodlet. Uh, just to get into that gun store. I otherwise don't have a plan for it. I don't know what I would uh, what I would use it for. Um, I did get a comment about uh, passing up uh, bladed weapons. And I did download that mod. Um, I however did not see it. What a nightstick. I did not see it when I went to enable mods. Uh, it was not on my mod list, which was interesting. I've never encountered that before. Um, usually when I subscribe to a mod, it just pops right up right away. Um, maybe I did something incorrect at some point. But I did attempt downloading the uh, overhaul mod for spears and whatnot. Um, uh, on that same mod, Modder, I think the name was like Hea, H E A. If you have a chance, I suggest going and looking up their mods. They have several like overhaul mods. Uh, real nice, real high quality stuff. I'm currently using one in the top right corner of my screen. It's probably hard to see through the video. I downloaded the Moodlet uh, overhaul. Um, this doesn't do much other than add a number. So instead of memorizing the pictures, uh, it now has a number, so like the tired icon up there, well, instead of having a one, it'll flash to a two. And then you don't have to memorize, you know, what picture does what. Um, not, I mean, it's easy to memorize it, but at a glance, you can now see um, how far along you are on a particular moodlet. Be it hungry, tired, exhausted, uh, etc. you name it. Uh, I thought it was kind of nice. I thought it was kind of silly at first, honestly. Um, and then I've, because I've been using, like I said, I've been playing 
the previous day uh, without recording, and I was just constructing. I was just oh an axe. Uh, that's a pretty good find. I was just can can uh, cutting down trees, building the walls, etc. Um, I used a hand axe to cut down the trees, and it broke right away. I was trying to save my fire axe for that. Uh, so I used the hand axe instead of the fire axe. And I wanted to keep the wood axe because the wood axe uh, is like significant damage compared to the fire axe. Sophia unluckily never found a wood axe. Um, I don't find them very often, if I'm being perfectly honest. In fact, this one was in an unlikely spot, if I recall correctly. It came off of a, a zombie and not a... Like a woodcutter's lodge or something. I think you find them in uh, cabins out in the woods and stuff. Woodsman's cabin. There's a lady in here somewhere. Where in the hell did she go? There she is. She just doesn't see me. Weird. Weird. Um, so I was trying to save that fire axe durability. And I used the wood axe or the hand axe. And it broke pretty quick. And then I equipped the fire axe and I went along and chopped down uh, just as many trees, if not more. And uh, I didn't lose, I, I want to say it's full full durability. I don't think I lost any durability. We've not gained any skills. Um, I gained absolute dog crap. Building that whole wall, I gained 600 experience for carpentry. We don't have the book. It's to be expected, honestly. We need the book. We're not going to level without the book. It's just miserable without it. But we don't have access to the book. Um, I'm honestly not even sure if I have the book in the original base in the apartment complex to even like make a uh, Mission Impossible uh, episode and go over there and grab the book and leave. Uh, but we did get a point in maintenance. Maintenance leveled up while I was cutting trees down. That was cool. So... My plan here was to come through here um, and disassemble. So now the moodlet in the top right, if you notice, it's a two. So I, I kind of like that. Um, I am assuming that is not coming through very well in the video because the the moodlets are so small in size. But uh, I, I like being able to see at a glance what they are. Very simple. A very simple change, in my opinion. So I was going to come in here. Um, we have, I want to say we have full looted this building. Um, I It's not technically cleared, but I don't think there's going to be a horde in here. Now, I may eat my words because they're really kind of hanging out a bit on the edges. Um, for the most part, the zombies have been... Uh, in the second floor, I believe. And I have looted everything here, but they were in the northern part of the building. But I'm going to quickly go through here real fast. This is a big building. Uh, and if I'm going to be disassembling, I kind of want to not be in the open. So I'm going to scope out some of these rooms here. Check this out. I'm almost positive I looted everything. I know there's some crowbars and stuff. Um, I could take... I can take a couple crowbars back with me. Uh, no reason not to, honestly. Let's see if we can look out the window. I don't see any. Oh, there's one zombie on the far west along the wall. He's sitting down. Otherwise, I'm not seeing any zombies in here. I'm not hearing anything either, which is good. Um, I want to disassemble this stuff. It is letting me disassemble these walls. Um, I don't know if that... I don't know if that's a a mod I have that's letting me do that. I'm not sure if you can do that baseline, but this is a lot of disassembling through here. And if it'll let me do it, then I'll do it. Uh, this is a, um, what do you want to call it? It's a construction site. It's not done being built. So like it sort of makes sense because the stuff is, um, it's, you know, it's still exposed. The wall is still exposed. So you could still pull the wall apart. Um, if this, I should check the next time I'm in a house. I'll see if it lets me disassemble, like, 
the wall of a, a literal house. If that's the case, I don't want to do that. Um, I find that a little weird, I guess. But uh, this doesn't bother me too much because it's just like wall frames and stuff. I'm not seeing any zombies. Ooh, it's raining. That's good because uh, our rain collector is almost empty. Now, if I can, I would like to check out this window. There's our slaughter. Okay, I've not seen anyone. Um, I wonder if it would be efficient or efficient is the wrong word. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but I wonder if it would be wise to head down to the first floor. I'll go up to the third floor first and we'll, I'll just double check because I, I don't remember if I looted everything. Um, I should really start taking notes. That would be a wise decision. But what I have done... Um, because, I mean, obviously, like, there's certain things that are super high priority. Uh, nails are one of them. I don't see anything up here. I don't see any uh, uh, zombies. I see boxes to loot, but... I really don't remember if I could loot these. Now, according to my right-click menu here, I'm able to disassemble... Um, Everything, all these walls, all these, these, like, uh, what is this? A uh, box pallet of bricks I can disassemble. Uh, like all this, stuff. like this is good. Good stuff to disassemble through here. Um, I was just, I didn't know if this was like because of a, because I, I do have, like I said before, I do have the cheat menu uh, in case I set myself <laughs> on fire with like the, uh, campfire I've done that before it's it's not fun oh that's interesting got dissimilar from this side okay he's just gonna so this is kind of nice because I can just kind of hold fast forward while doing this. Um, I'll come through and loot. Oh, what's this? Oh, like a pole. I'll come through and loot. I'm not going to pick up these planks. Um, if I do something in town, maybe I will use those planks for something because there'll be a bunch of planks in this building. I'm not after the planks. I have access to more planks that I know what to do with through the forest. Uh, I can cut down all those trees with the axes we have. And I should probably play a little zoomed out just in case. Because I'm up here, so they have to come up the staircase if there are any zombies left in these buildings. I wish he wouldn't jump through those buildings. Ever since I tore my boots, I've been a little nervous about him doing that. But yeah, uh, we're after nails. And this is not super efficient. You don't get a crazy amount of nails from this. I mean, if you disassemble a whole floor, it might be enough to, like, I don't know if I want to disassemble everything in here and then, uh, just for the nails, because, like, the amount of nails I need to finish building the base, pretty drastic. Uh, but to finish building the perimeter wall is not that drastic, so... Let's just walk around here. It actually doesn't look like we're getting crap for nails. I'm seeing... That's... Yes. This could be based on my carpentry skill, of which is, I guess, perma-locked at <laughs> level 5. Just... I'm going to take that garbage bag. Apparently I didn't loot everything. It doesn't look like we're getting a whole lot of nails. That's a bummer. It looks like you get more nails from maybe furniture or something. If I had to take a wild guess. Um, but yeah, uh, the main goal is to finish the... Yeah, I got more nails from this little section here than I did the, all those walls over there. Um, the main goal is to finish that uh, perimeter wall. 
Um, and then I will probably spend an episode either recording or not recording, uh, raising up Lester's, um, what's it, what's it called? Strength and fitness, strength and fitness. Yeah. I'll probably spend some episodes exercising. Um, we now have access to this building. This is cleared and we have access to food and water that we can prepare ourselves. So we're not, we're not hurting for anything at the moment. Oops. So this is, this is all good. We can take some time to get some skills up. What's in here? Tent peg. I think you can use a tent peg to assemble um, a actual tent they can sleep in. I've never done it myself. Um, I know some some people like to play as a sort of uh, um, what's what's the uh, the term I'm looking for? I'm a guy who just sort of wanders around, like a wanderer type playstyle. Oh, we haven't had access to this side of the street, so we can kind of take a look at what's going on. That building, uh, so that's the building we've been we initially started clearing. That's a little bit bigger than I had originally thought. Uh, that's like twice the size of our apartment complex. That's pretty big. Um, if we get attacked by a horde, we have to run. We're at triple tired at the moment. Um, it's okay for what we're doing. But uh, uh, actually, we should probably leave now. When I think about it. Uh, we either leave now and head back to base or we sleep here. I do have one fish, and it's a good fish, I believe. Yeah, it's an 18 hunger fish. Um, it's 5 p.m. I just don't want to get caught by a horde while we are uh, this tired. Uh, we would probably get our butts kicked, honestly. So I guess I will walk him back. We picked up 20 nails. Not bad. It's four nails per wall. Um, that's not bad at all. Be nice if we had actually not looted something and we found another box of nails, but you know, Lester found a sledgehammer, so we can't be too picky. That's pretty good. Sledgehammer. Um, how often now I do have melee weapon loot increased on this playthrough along with ranged weapon loot increase um, because of the amount of zombies who come across and the sledgehammer can be used as a weapon. So I wonder if maybe less lucky Lester was not quite so lucky and it's simply because we have uh, melee weapons increased, but if it's considered a crafty item, I believe we have crafty items um, lowered. So we are now at level four tired, <laughs> so tired, so desperately inhumanly tired. Uh, yeah. So we're going to walk back, sleep. Um, I'll probably cut this bit out. I think the plan is walk back, drop off. We're going to drop off our nails. Um, I will check the bird traps. And I'll bring food with and we'll continue what we're doing. Um, either we'll, we'll go back to that building and disassemble or maybe we'll start clearing again. Um, if we clear that office building, that'll open up a little bit more too. Um, I might just ignore that office building as well for now and head over to that strip mall. That strip mall's got the gun store and the gun store would give us the chance to start clearing the mall. And the mall is a, you know, one one stop shop kind of place. It'd have everything. Uh, either way, I'll think about it as I go here, and uh, I will see you on the other side of this little trip. Okay, we are back, ish. Pretty close, close enough. Um, didn't go fishing, did sleep. I checked our traps. We were successful. We caught two birds. I moved the traps a little bit closer because they were pretty far away. I was worried that they would get uh, stomped on by zombies, but um, honestly, we haven't seen zombies in the woods in a minute. Um, 
there were no zombies on my way back and no zombies on the way back here. So on the way to the base and then back from the base, there were no zombies. So I moved the traps a little closer. Um, oh, and one of the, so we caught two of them, right? Look at this, this is plus minus 10 hunger. This other one is minus 38 hunger. I don't know what, what kind of freaking bird we caught here, but this one chunky bird minus 38 hunger. That's the most food item we have uh, come across yet i believe um that's a chunky bird don't know where he's where he's been getting that fat but goodness uh so let's head back into the construction site i was thinking uh let's scope out the perimeter of the construction site because the zombies do like to sort of hang out in between the wall and the building um and then um we'll just sort of uh go i'm thinking we'll just keep disassembling some of this stuff for nails we found 20 nails it's not a whole lot of nails i'm wondering maybe we won't disassemble the frames hang on i had to back out i heard a zombie yeah i was i was hearing zombies in there i didn't want to walk through there if there were zombies double hit Fork. Okay, so there were quite a few zombies in there, it looks like. Yeah. Hoodie is undamaged. Oh, I thought I was... I was wrong. Um, I was not talking because I was trying to listen for footsteps. The rain makes this extra difficult because I'm not sure if it comes through in the video, but they have the sound of like rain hitting leaves and uh, it really throws me off with everything else. So there was one in there somewhere, a couple by the looks of it. Where are they going? Anybody know? What is this? I've never seen zombies do this. Where are these three going? What was that? I've never seen something like that. That was wild. Huh. Weird. What is going on? I have no idea what's going on. They were just taken off down the path. I think they do that when they're trying to path to something, but what? I mean, what? There's nothing here. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused myself there. That, that was weird. Heard more noises, but I didn't see anything, so I don't know. I keep hearing these noises, these animal sounds and whatnot, and it sort of sounds like growling. And um, One of the things we need, we need uh, hinges and doorknobs because we don't have any. So I'm going to pick these up. Put this in here. Since our zombie friends have disassembled this door already, uh, there's only one hinge here. I think it requires hinge. There we go. 
I'm just gonna grab that doorknob as well. Okay, let's keep looking around. Let's see what's out here. I'm not sure what's going on with the zombie pathing. That was interesting, but um, they can't get through this wall, so we've seen all kinds of strange pathing through here. It seems like anytime they hear a noise, they just take off trying to get around it. Now, last time we were here, there was a group of zombies back here, and I ignored them. Um, and I went went up top to clear. I hear growling. It's coming out of my left. So I'm thinking they're on the other side of this wall. It's been raining a lot. There was one boy sitting down way, 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 way over here. There's a couple dead ones. Cannot see into the street from, there's, there, is that the one I was looking at? Cannot see in the, into the street from up above. So I don't know if there's like a whole lot of them down there or what the deal is. Um, and we checked this, I'm pretty sure. I want to say there was nothing here. Yeah. I don't see any lootable boxes. Okay. So, let's go back into the building. Need more nails. Can't. Still trying to stay a little quiet because I am looking for. I'm I'm listening for sounds. Of which I'm not hearing anything really though. So the basic plan is going to uh, disassemble everything. I'm not. Entirely too comfortable disassembling down here because um, I could attract something. So maybe what I'll do is go up to the second floor and disassemble. I know that seems silly, but I'll just be super annoyed if I'm tunnel visioning and disassembling a whole bunch of junk and uh, I get snuck up on and bit just because I was trying to pick up a few nails like... We may as well come upstairs, I think. Why not? Um, did I finish disassembling the stuff upstairs on the third floor, though? It's a question. God, that's a lot of zombies. Look how many zombies we killed in here? Unbelievable. I don't think we got crap off of any of them. The zombies have not been good with their um, loot. I see a broken, broken crowbar over there. Oh, that's something we didn't do. We didn't take the freaking crowbars back with us. And I and I went back too. I walked all the way back, had room and everything. Oh, there's twine right here. That's another. Well, it's low on charges. That might be a. Um, let's see, Scra uh, trapping, trapper, stick trap. Nope, it's enough. We can make another bird trap. Cool. That's awesome. So now we can have three bird traps. Jeez, it's raining again. Why it's raining so much. It's basically rained once since I've started this this uh Lester's playthrough. I think that's it. In total. 
and now suddenly it's raining three days in a row. Nails. Ooh, getting quite a few nails, actually. We're up to 25 already. Oh, we did find five, though, I believe, on a zombie. So it's not like these are all from disassembling, but... Nails, crap. Oh, I can leave it out. I didn't know I could do that. Grab all. What's in here? Walkie-talkie. Disassemble. Hang on, no? Disassemble. Perfect. He is hungry. Well, I have a chunky bird to eat. Oh, it's like... Worsening. Storm? We can head inside. I don't know if this will mess with us. I am, um... What's it called? Outdoorsman or something? Oh, I'm holding all this crud. Look at all this shit he's holding on to. My god. Where's the big bird? Eat, eat big bird. We'll head down here. So that filled him completely. He went straight to four. Uh, so, uh, scrap, uh, radio receiver, I don't think I need. Scrap electronics, I don't really care about that. You do need it. I might keep light bulbs. I don't care about battery. Probably gonna get attacked randomly in here, that's my greatest fear. Friggin' zombies come out of nowhere. Criticize Walking Dead all the time with how in the world could these zombies just sneak up on them like that? Doesn't make any damn sense. And here I am panicking because I think one of them might sneak up on me and I could totally see how it could happen. So all that bad stuff I said about Walking Dead while I was watching it. I might have to apologize. What in the world is this? Deconstructing forkhead, scalpel, dumbbell, my god. Take that. Um, it's a symbol. Oh, I didn't. I thought I dragged it out. My bad. Are we even getting anything out of this? Carpentry. We're at a thousand. This is this is miserable. Ugh. This might be slower than doing it. Um, on one times XP. Simply because we don't have a book. Because normally... Excuse me, normally you'd have a book. Get that experience bonus. What are we up to? 13 in here. 42. That's not too shabby. Not too bad. It definitely seems like I'm getting more from disassembling the objects. Uh, we disassembled a whole wall, and I want to say we didn't get... Get one? Maybe two? It wasn't much. Take that. Put these in the ground. A rake? I do with a rake. My test character won the only weapon. Um, is that the rain or is that footsteps? I think it's the rain. The only weapon I found was like a rake or something. I was using that to bash zombies. Um, if you ever are playing and that's what you end up with, uh, it works uh, surprisingly well. <laughs> much better than you'd think. Um, it's just not, it's not very durable, is the thing. It's not durable at all. I think this game's messing with me. I keep hearing noises. 
But I keep not seeing anything. Concrete powder. Oh, that's probably the one thing I've never done in this game. Um, I've never, and I don't know if it would be possible in this playthrough, because I have loot set lower on, I want to say, construction items like that. Um, like plaster, building your own building, plastering it, painting it, um, all that stuff. Um, you could do all of that. There's like uh, all this stuff you can get, but I don't think, I want to say I'm, I'm not able to do that. I could totally be wrong. It might be possible. This is a construction site, and the amount of... Unless the those bags of concrete powder and stuff, unless they make far more than I'm expecting, um, that would be the only way, I would think. You know what I didn't bring was a magazine, because he is bored, because we are inside disassembling. Okay. Um... Let's stop there, disassembling. Um, and we will, let's put our crap in. So I picked up the two crowbars. We don't want that or that or that. Oh, I, I forgot I dismantled. Aluminum, uh, beta blockers we don't need. Put all that stuff away. Okay, pull this out. Hammer, saw, go back in your bags. Um, what I'm thinking we do is we'll go outside Although it did look like it was like storming storming or something. We'll go out here and we'll check the street out. Um, since he's bored, I don't want to pick up a bunch of unhappiness for no reason. So let's head north. Um, near the parking lot. Basically where we were fighting the like crazy amount of zombies. Uh, I'm going to fill up my water bottles first since I'm here. This is almost empty. So I'm hearing like knocking noises and stuff. And I want to say it's probably because it's like this storm and the buildings around me making that noise, which is irritating. Appreciative for the uh, experience, but I like to be able to identify the sounds perfectly. When I play a game and I'm not able to, the sounds are all a little too similar and I can't differentiate between them. So what's, um, it looks like the horde moved. There was one north of here a little bit. One zombie there. The street. I can fight that big group. Oh, no, that's not a zombie. That's a tree. Excuse me. There's two heading into the building. Three, four. Okay. Looks like there's a horde heading into the building. All right. Well, we won't go that way. Let's go fight these guys out here then. Um, and because I think I'm thinking uh, let's we need to scout out a little bit. And to scout out, out that area we need to go to, we need to get through this parking lot. So we need to fight these guys. I don't need the beta blockers anymore. I haven't put them up for some reason. I don't know why I haven't. Ooh, miss, 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 miss. Here we go, killing again. Okay, that wasn't... That was half of them, it looks like. I can't remember if I picked up a pair of scissors. I want to say I did. I'm going to go with yes. I do have aviator glasses. She's dead. All right, let's grab the rest of them. And then we'll sneak over to the strip mall and scout it out a little bit. Because uh, we honestly don't even know what is over there. Uh, for all I know, it could be open. And I could just uh, sneak in there, break the walls down. Um, zombies can get trapped inside and they can't get out. So 
the inside of that building could have zombies hanging out. She has a weapon on her? I don't think we found a propane torch yet. Keep finding those guys who have the welding mask on. But we're not finding any torches, I don't think. Oh, was that a bread knife? She was armed with a bread knife. Well, I guess, you know, you're desperate, you're desperate, right? Although in this game, bread knife, I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking butter knife because it, it, the graphics don't quite come through in this game. So anytime I see it, I think like butter knife and I always kind of giggle because it's like he's over here trying to kill people with a friggin butter knife. Okay, let's um, let me get up here just a little bit. I'm going to look toward north and west. There's nothing over there. Let's just double check where we are. So we have a little ways to go. Um, 4 p.m. Fatigue is looking pretty good. Uh, it'll, it'll go up fast while we're fighting. So uh, we'll probably be tired soon, which is good anyways, because I think we are approaching the end of the video or this episode when we are fighting here done fighting rather scout and track these hordes a little bit maybe we can um, check out the strip mall um, that office building has had zombies coming and going from it since I've started clearing it which makes me a little bit worried because I think um, the zombies from inside are coming out so Clearing this horde, I'm not sure what exactly is being accomplished other than pulling them out slowly, right? Like, um, I oh, 45 ammo. Ooh, I'm overweight apparently in there. Okay. Box of 45, that's good. That's a uh, hundred, hundred bullets. Exhausted. Those two stuck over there. Another butter knife. No ammo. Okay. There's two in there stuck. I don't know what to do about that. I'll just hang out. Maybe they'll come to me. I mean, one of them came through, right? Like. I do. I'm gonna get bit if I step in there. The green outline is saving me. Apparently the... Interesting. Don't know how I feel about that. The box truck? You cannot make the box truck uh, disappear when you're behind it. So you can't tell what's behind it. Not sure how I feel about that. That's a little frustrating. What's in here? Box of screws. I'll take that. Never mind, I'm full. Okay, so, what have we learned? Um, big Horde South, I think that's a pretty big group. There is a group West of us that's not so big, but that group South makes me nervous because I see them, it's not gonna come through in the video very well, but the front door on the office building is broken 
and I can see them sort of piling out. There's also two groups north, and that is basically the mall. So we are real, we are real damn close to the mall. Not sure how I feel about that either. That's pretty nerve wracking. There's going to be a lot of zombies in there, of which I am not prepared to handle. If they came out in big groups, maybe. But if there are the amount of zombies in there I think there are, they're not going to come out in small groups. It's going to be like a group of 400 or more. It seems like we're fighting big groups of zombies, but honestly, they're only like groups of 20. And, or the group itself might be like 40, but we're only, we're not even pulling the whole group and they're not stacked together. When they pile out of that mall, they will be all stacked on top of each other. And it will be, it will be an actual, actual nightmare. We got two ticks on our crowbar there. That's some bad luck. Okay. Dead, 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 dead. All right. But no matter what we do, we do have to clear it. Gas station's there. Thing is, is which of these damn groups do I go up to and fight? I'm thinking the north. Ugh, I don't want to. I pulled them back. I don't want to go up there because if I go up there, that's the mall. And um, I would like to just clear out this area, not necessarily start clearing the, the mall proper, right? You know? long enough because he's already tired again or exhausted rather whatever you call it let's scroll through some of the loot this is a new pack of zombies I uh, get a little irritated fighting the zombies over the old bodies bourbon damn pick it up that's a water bottle that's good stuff I didn't realize I could empty that bourbon bottle out and it holds more than my regular water bottles, but more importantly, I can sterilize the water. I think we need to come over here and sit on our and we're tired now. Okay. That might be our cue to back off. Because we're tired. Tired and exhausted, not a good combination. Um, let's think here. I might have enough nails to finish the perimeter wall, which is great. But nothing else, that's okay. That's alright, I have plenty of storage as is. Um, I think we'll go back to base. Uh, we'll deposit our stuff, sleep for a new day, and we'll come back and we'll do the same thing. We'll start clearing out this parking lot again for the 15th time and clear towards that gas station and ultimately the uh, gun store, which is nearby. I think that's what we will do. Um, either way, this is the end of this episode. Um I'll probably end before we go back. I don't think there's anything else I was thinking about doing or saying. Um, I would like to check all of these vehicles' hoods. Maybe we get lucky and find a battery that's not completely dead. I highly doubt it. We're probably going to have to find like a uh, repair shop and get a battery charger, which means a... Uh, a generator for electricity um, or we'll get lucky and find like a, a battery that's been sitting there and for some reason isn't dead I don't know what the chances of any of that are probably pretty low I'm thinking uh, this series we might not have a vehicle for a while um, either way a vehicle would be pushed off because I don't feel comfortable 
doing mechanics in that parking lot. Uh, there's just, there's a lot of zombies and they're sort of, uh, they're moving around a lot. They're not just kind of hanging out. The zombies are really, they're really cruising. Like those three zombies we chased down by the construction site. Like, what was that about? Like they, these zombies are really moving all over the place and they're, and they're going in a pretty decent clip too. Yeah. Um, so this, uh, this is the end of the episode. Um, I appreciate you for watching. Um, and especially the advice on the mods. Um, I look forward to seeing what else other people say.